Hi, welcome to our iCampus training on the doctrines of our Christian faith. Today we're going to be taking a look at the passage that you'll study in your life groups this weekend, Ephesians 5, 1 through 10. So open your Bibles to Ephesians 5, 1 through 10, and let's read it together. It says, Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. But immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be named among you as is proper among saints. And there must be no filthiness or silly talk or coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know with certainty that no immoral or impure person or covetous man who is an idolater has an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them, for you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth, trying to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. We find the doctrine of substitution in the first two verses. It says, Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love, just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. We are to walk in love, just as Christ also loved us. And how did Jesus demonstrate his love for us? By willingly laying down his life on the cross as an offering and a sacrifice to God. And here's the key to substitutionary atonement. He did not die for his own sins. He was not being punished for something that he had done or for anything that he might gain. Instead, in perfect love, Jesus gave himself up for us. And on the cross, Jesus died in our place as our substitute. He bore the full wrath of God against all sin of all time uh, for our sins and the sins of of the whole world. The prepositional phrase for us or hooper hamon in the original Greek is the key to the doctrine of substitution. Hooper is a preposition that means on behalf of or in another's place. Hooper is the Greek term that expresses the idea of substitutionary atonement and it's a consistent salvific theme throughout the Bible. On the cross, Jesus died in our place as a substitute for our sins. Here are some other verses that express different aspects of substitutionary atonement. Second Corinthians 5.21 says, He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. John 1.29 the next day he saw Jesus coming to him and he said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. 1 Thessalonians 5.9 For God has not destined us for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews 2.9 But we not, do not see him who was made for a little while lower than the angels, namely Jesus, because of the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, so that by the grace of God he might taste this death for everyone. Then Hebrews 9.28 So Christ also, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time for salvation, without reference to sin, to those who eagerly await him. Hebrews 10.10 10, By this we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. 1 Peter 2.24, And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds you were healed. 1 Peter 3.18, For Christ also died for sins once for all, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God, having put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit. We are to walk in love just as Christ also loved us and gave himself up for us. So thank you for offering your life as a living sacrifice 
in service to God on behalf of those who God is drawing to iCampus in order to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the work that you are doing in and through us um, as you uh, allow us to share in the ministry of your word and the gospel of your son. Thank you for sending Jesus to die in our place for our sins. And thank you for setting us free that we can follow Jesus and complete assurance of our salvation that's based on his once for all sacrifice um, that he offered to you on our behalf. Thank you for the gift of salvation and thank you for the honor of being able to share the good news of Jesus with others. May we be bold and may you allow us to become equipped through your word for this very great work and may we always do it to the praise of your glory. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.